Okay, I just wanted to share with you my uh, workflow for working from Final Cut to Dropbox. It's particularly useful if you're an instructor on SkillFeed because from Dropbox you can import your video tutorials directly um, to SkillFeed and it's by far the fastest and most efficient way of getting your tutorials online. So the first thing to do um, before you actually get into working with Final Cut and part of the same process applies to working with Premiere Pro or other editing applications um, is to download Dropbox um, for the Mac or Windows depending on which platform you're working from. So if you go to Dropbox um, and downloading it will redirect you to the Windows or the, the Mac page. Okay, So you can download it for a number of different platforms such as Linux as well um, but we're obviously working on the, the Mac here so we'll be downloading it for the Mac um, and once you come to this page Dropbox will download instantly and then you can go along and install Dropbox and that will get Dropbox onto your system. Okay, So what we see when we have Dropbox um, installed is a link on the left hand side if we select the default location for our Dropbox of our um, toolbar. Okay, So you want to look for this Dropbox link um, on the Mac or on Windows and find out where Dropbox is saving your files to. Okay, And what you should see is a list of all the files that you have up on Dropbox and if you see this little check this green check next to them, it means that they're synchronized. So all your Dropbox files are synchronized um, on your local machine as well as on your Dropbox file. So you can see here I've got this rectangular rectangular marquee export movie that I've exported um, previously. I've exported it at 720p and once that's dropped in there it will synchronize with Dropbox and then I can go in and in SkillFeed I can import it into my tutorials there. Okay, so from Final Cut Pro Okay, we're going to go and um, export this movie um, and directly to that Dropbox folder and then once it's exported um, it will then upload. Okay, so the first step is to come to the share button on the right hand side here. Okay, and we're going to share the, the master file. You can see that there are instant uploads for YouTube, Vimeo and Facebook but not for, for Dropbox which works in a slightly different way. So. We click on master file here and it will bring up this window which allows us to set up where we're going to export our movie to and it actually allows you to kind of scrub through the video as well. Okay, so we're going to check settings and we're exporting here at NH264 which is a perfect format for skill feed and also at 1280 by 720 which is an HD format and what I do when I'm setting up my video tutorials is I always screen record at the same resolution I'm going to export to so that there's no resizing of pixels. So 1280 by 720 is the HD format that I record in as well as the format that I broadcast in online. Okay, so uh, we're exporting as a QuickTime movie and it's going to open up in QuickTime Player later which allows me to take some screenshots for things like my movie thumbnail and that kind of stuff. And once we've checked these settings we can then click next. And this is where we'll select the, the location that we're going to save to. Okay, So we want to select Dropbox on the left hand side here and click Save. So once you've done that you'll come back into Final Cut Pro and you'll see in the middle here we have this little progress bar. If we double click on that it's showing us the progress of that share. Okay, So this is going to take a little while to export so we'll come back and have a look at the Dropbox folder once it's exported and we'll see the, the Dropbox upload in progress. Okay, so once your export has finished um, in Final Cut Pro, you'll see the 100% show up in the background task window, and if you double click on that again, you'll see that there are no tasks listed here, so there's nothing happening, everything's idle. So once that's finished, if we jump then to the, the desktop um, or the finder, then we'll see in our Dropbox folder, we have our exported movie listed here. Okay, so if we want to check the, the progress of that upload, then we can just come up to the little Dropbox icon here and click on it. And you can see that we've got this option down here that allows us to pause the syncing. But at the moment, it's saying there's about 16 minutes left for that to upload to, to Dropbox. So it's a really nice method of dropping things into a folder locally and then getting them to upload um, directly to Dropbox. And the nice thing about this is that this upload can be left on its own, you can export several movies to the, the Dropbox sync folder and then just let them upload in the background as you continue to work. 
Okay, so we're just coming back into the folder here and you can see that once the, the file has synced up, we get this nice tick by it um, in the Dropbox folder, which tells us that it's synced up with the online file. So if we go to Dropbox here now, we can see that this file is uploaded an hour ago. Um, it's finished and now we can access it online, which means that we can go into our Skillfee project and connect it um, to our courses there. Okay, if you have any questions about Final Cut Pro or about uploading directly to Dropbox, then please don't hesitate to send me a tweet at Ben Housel. Um, and please do check out my other Final Cut Pro tutorials online.